to God be the glory for Throwback Thursday. We look forward to Throwback Thursday where we have the opportunity to look back into the history of what has happened to Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church, those magnificent moments that just make worship so much more worth it. And today is one of those days where we have an opportunity to look back and see what the Lord has done. You can see with me now, uh, two of the prime brothers who helped me to make worship work every time we gather together at Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church. You see our executive pastor, the Reverend Alexander E. M. Johnson, and of course our minister of music and worship and fine arts, uh, Minister Leon Christopher Lewis. You can see likewise that we're practicing social distancing. Uh, we are both, uh, Leon and I, all three of us actually are at our homes, but uh, Executive Pastor Johnson is using that backdrop of the church. And all of that is intentional because it was three years ago, three years ago, 2017, uh, when Minister Leon Lewis uh, was at home on a Saturday morning and had an aneurysm to burst in his brain. That aneurysm burst in his brain left him away from the church house for more than two months. We were without our minister of music. You can only imagine how our hearts were aching as a consequence. Uh, but on the fourth Sunday of March of 2017, the Lord let Leon come back to church and minister to us and be in, in the presence of God with us. And that day at the fourth service, it happened all day long, but at the fourth service, we just couldn't contain ourselves anymore. It's Throwback Thursday. Check out this throwback and watch how God works in the lives of his people. Here's the problem you made, Mr. Devil. Here's the, here's the, here's the mistake you made. You let me get to church. Wait, wait, wait. Here's the problem the devil had. Here's the mistake he made. He let Leon Lewis get to church. And now he can't help himself. He's got to give God glory. He's got to give God praise. That's what happens when you come to church. Stay right there, Lee. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Hold on. Listen, I told you. I told you I was going to mention Leon Lewis twice more, didn't I? I said two more times. Y'all gave me permission for two more times. Because I knew what I was going to say at the end of this message. On Tuesday, Leon came to church for the first time to go to work, right? On Tuesday, he came to work for the first time since his incident in January. And Leon sent me a text. We were in staff meeting where he was supposed to be, but he, was, he sent me a text saying he was running a little behind. He said, Pastor, I'm on my way to the meeting, but before I come to the meeting, I got to go to the sanctuary. He said, I'm coming. He said, I'm coming to your meeting. Don't worry, don't worry. But before I get busy with meeting stuff, and before I get busy with other stuff, I ain't been in the sanctuary yet. I got to get in the sanctuary because something happens up in here that makes a difference in my life. Somebody thank God for the sanctuary.
Devil should have killed me when he had a chance. But the mistake he made was he let me get to the sanctuary. He let me get to the temple. And now everything, I got, I just got a feeling that everything is gonna be all right. I just, I just got a feeling, I got a funny feeling and a sneaky suspicion that everything amazing that's what it was it was an amazing day it was an amazing moment and we are so grateful uh, that since that time since march of 2017 leon has felt no residuals of that experience and god is continuing to raise him up Reverend alexander johnson was right there with us he saw the entire experience unfold he was there from the day that um, minister lewis had that aneurysm until the day he walked back in the sanctuary what did you feel what did you experience during that time, Pastor? Pastor, on that very day, it was clear that that was one of the meaningful moments in the life of Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church. Uh, even at that time, Leon Christopher Lewis meant so much to the work and witness of Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church. And to have him rejoin us in worship uh, had a surreal feeling the entirety of that day. We'd been praying for him. We knew God would heal him and restore him. And just to be able to thank God for his restoration and return was a joy and a delight. Uh, so to God be the glory for the great things he has done. And if he did it before, we know he did it. <laughs> Absolutely. To God be the glory. Can't nobody tell your story like you can tell your story, Lee. What do you feel? What are you feeling even now as a consequence of all that has taken place over these three years? Well, listen, uh, of course, God is an awesome healer. I am a living witness and testimony of the power of prayer and what prayer can do in one's life. And uh, that particular Sunday was just phenomenal to me. It was like a sense of release. I had not played or touched a keyboard or organ, not at home or anything, since the third week of January. So to be in that environment, in the place where I'm most comfortable, behind that organ, was just phenomenal for me. And God did what he always does. He shows up and he shows out. I was glad to play my part. I know that's right. We were glad that you were there. We praise God that we are still able to celebrate the healing and restorative power of our God in the life of our minister of music. To God be the glory. I know we're all ready to get back to the sanctuary. All of us are. And I can't wait to see how phenomenal and explosive it's going to be when we get back to the campus of Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church in that sanctuary where we can experience God uh, in a corporate way in a phenomenal way uh, as we worship the Lord together. So until we get back together again, we just had to have a good throwback Thursday where we just praise God for the great things that God has done at Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church. Until next time, the Lord bless you and keep you is our prayer. And all we can say is to God be the glory. To God be the glory. Peace.